I know, try to do step by step the feature and going first in variant selection. So there are a lot of options of the for invariant selection. In this lecture, we use like select the key best. We use also that this is two classes we are following. If you use like from SQLearn, so we take the best feature based on this, and we select this is like some parameter. So first, what we do, we import the I select a uh, key paste library and chi2 library which is select number of feature which is had highest value for tests some chs square statistic from our data set so we we take the score function select what is the best 10 Then we uh, we create then we and then select this we do some animation. Now if you think this we we get like like and the number of a new what is the best feature? Now, according for us, we have to find, we, as we mentioned, we have in previously 18 feature. And now we want to select only 10. This is what defined. What is the highest, best 10 based on this uh, score? Okay. If you're doing it and apply before this training, we found this is it's 18. Now we select only 10 feature based on this so let, so now let's see what is this feature how it's chosen we define this and to get to collect this feature now maybe this give you overview now let's blend uh, plot this if you plot this we find this this is feature is like most uh, relevant and we have most positive impact in our model accuracy now the question maybe is now still is not uh, confusing even if you plot it to show how th this is uh, accuracy maybe it's a good idea to evaluate this to use some class uh, cl classific uh, classification model so we do so what is doing we select using like this to a library and we select the 10 feature from our and then we have now data set shape with only complete feature and now the new business on this strategy this class select key paste and chi2 we have 10 okay now this is how statistical approach to select this 10 okay Make, making some statistical on this 10 now the question you print it and we plot this using matplot library and now the question how to evaluate this? This is one question in the last le uh, lecture. Now we we doing some uh, what is like simple random forest classifier. It's like a model, machine learning model, and we need to fit. We have now a team feature with data set, and we have new one with uh, with team feature. Now. If you generate a model based on this 18 feature, we have to evaluate the accuracy and we try to compare this if you generate this model <coughs> only with 10 feature based on this library. So we do the simple classifier, we do the estimator uh, like uh, of 100 of random state uh, 42 first and then let the classifier to fit all the feature and print the score and then we can so sorry and we found if you doing this with 18 feature we get the accuracy with 0.5 that means we about 17 percent accuracy if you do this only with 10 feature we improve the accuracy 
to around 98. This what help us is the is the improve the accuracy and reduce the timing because we reduce because we shifting from not only using a team picture uh, using only ten picture. So now our mo um, model accuracy has improving about 70, uh, 70, 70% to about 90, 90% by applying simple picture selection technique. This is what is possibility. So this is like simple one, only we take this and this is function is doing like we can go ahead with function is like just doing some high scoring picture is like some statistical technique okay how it's work we can study it in if you look about it okay what what do you mean about k here is number of feature maybe is we can select we can like a history value we can define edition like five ten cent and then plot it maybe we can give you over a few how it's looking the feature frequency and based on we can select maybe we can go it's like by some estimation number and then plot it and then we can figure out what is like this so this is like maybe is the basic one maybe how to select it okay now the next one about feature importance as we mentioned, this is to select the more uh, useful feature. So the same, <coughs> the same that for uh, what we discussed before. Before that means our feature we give him a score or weighted. That means we have now data set. I have many. This is our target, and this is our feature. This is a common hit, and I try to give the score value for uh, a score value to this uh, feature and then i try to do the same i will try to select also the 10 from this feature also let me check it like how it's like this. i print the same extract the three classifier and it's like on the tip of this 10 feature for data set let me check it then is like how is like about model feature importance that me I when I apply this and fit this I get some more important feature. So it's built about with three based classifier. So what we get an object from etc three classifier, then we fit that object to our training data set. After that we print all the important value for each feature we have. Finally, let us plot the top 10 feature only we plot only from this all feature we going on with 10 how we check the highest the or the best 10 feature if you plot it we can figure out that the feature 9 here and feature 7 and 0 somehow is the best or the highest importance among all the feature we have that important because now we have a clear idea what's a feature to keep and what's the feature we have to eliminate. So this is another technique to select the most or highest important feature. Now, if you want to uh, to improve this, we can do some uh, as we the same here. We do some example for random forest uh, classifier but, but we do it by the way this we can give we check the accuracy so so this is i hope this is clear maybe it's for a clear and this is a blood give you some overview some big picture clear about what is how it's like better feature to to have you have to select or what is the highest importance among the all feature and maybe we can find that the feature 25 is not important 14 is the most important maybe it's the least feature because we have a huge number of features we have 18 maybe we have 
very a few amount of value that means if you focus on this only this is 10 maybe and reduce the 17 picture maybe in this we can improve the accuracy training time reduce overfitting so now let's go to third one is the model based some that means the feature will select based on our model we have to we we can import this from this ascii learn as you you uh, you see ascii learn is very important library when we use this with meta transfer we specify which model we want to use example random forest maybe as the structural value to use the feature selection so here i use the structure value is me and we use the random first and we have 10 estimator random state about 42 it's like i take only simple machine learning model and the feature will be select based on this machine so the straight value will define which feature should be kept and which feature whose value is above this threshold will be considered and the feature value who is Below this ritual will be discard or eliminate. And based on this, we can evaluate our training. We can find that that uh, if you, this we have like this 18 fit, uh, feature, and based on the middle, we found that only we is the best is like only six feature. And this model that give us overview that the only from this only 18 feature only the best one or should be considered based on mean value statistic only six feature if you plot it we can figure out what how is important this feature okay so if you want to do some as we mentioned before if you want to evaluate this by conversion accuracy we do some the same random frame classifier we take we train is with complete feature et here and we we train this with only with six feature we are generated we can found we generate about 70 seven percent accuracy based on 18 feature point feature if you're using only that six feature we able to generate about 91 accuracy so that means i have that asset we have a huge number of row data set and maybe and and this is our target maybe and the question from this maybe i have here 18 because this is 18 and this is a huge number of row if row represent feature i have to select only from this six one maybe this maybe this uh, column this column only six of this 18 and then i able to generate a proof accuracy i don't remove row i remove only column the row is like it was like data point here represent i remove the not relevant in this example i take switch on the mean okay the lot of one is recursive feature elimination it's like i as mentioned it's like to fit the model and remove the weakness or the minimum feature uh, like such or like with that have not most relevant or most uh that, that this feature don't have more strong effect to generate uh, like high accuracy model so it's doing like pre loop so every time we select smaller row a smaller number for a feature pre loop we using the same library as that from feature selection i use like like this library 
I try to define, I try to find this from 10 feature and then I convert this 18. I have now feature now and based on this I select only the 10 feature. Based what is I tried to I have 18 feature. I now to check if this feature to remove the request to eliminate the smallest number of feature by every loop. We I generate some subset and every subset I try till I get like 10 feature. Then let's now now we have to see how this model will select the best 10 feature out of 18 feature and we can plot this feature to show what is the best and this feature we select we have to convert this feature we have ignored by plotting this now and let's compare the accuracy between the model has fit with all feature 18 feature and that hit with only the selected one to do this we doing the same we train the model with complete feature 18 feature here and we train the model we take and only for number of feature we select 10 and we have we found this how is the accuracy is changing so we try the code to find the optimal number of feature we have to generate higher accuracy maybe if you want to go ahead in this domain you have to understand how to find the optimal number of feature then we have to under you start cross feature subset and select the business maybe this is some technique it's about evaluation if you want we can go if you have time maybe in the last week we can go ahead with some example because this gives you optimal number of feature have to use like what is called this R sorry is piping is not good I O N so this is we have to use cross validation to score different feature subset and select the best scoring collection of this feature. Okay. And this point, what we study till now. We I will go back, then I go from directly to some. So we here and first point we look about feature transformation and this is mostly is for dimension reduction and data visualization then we tell if you have data we, you, we, on this we can use manual technique or automatic picture selection in a library like use it but we can use ex also to use etc technique depend about new function okay any question okay if there are any question you can interrupt me Otherwise, I will continue. Then, feature selection we study about invariant feature selection. We give overview of how to select this that to reduce the un, uh, useful or not uh, good feature to generate the model. Then, in feature importance, we select what the most important feature. Then, here we depend about model to select the best feature, or we do something like to. I have data set, uh, that a picture, for example, I, uh, for example, I try to, to check it by subset lobbying to get minimum amount of feature is useful to generate accurate or more high accurate uh, model or, or what is the best uh, feature that play more essential, essential role to generate accurate result. This is what is study, okay? Okay, now I I go ahead with like we discussed last time we discussed about library and we I will go ahead with band a little to show you how to use some 
technique by B processing or some features that maybe B processing. Maybe we can some practice. Osawa, by the way, we have to look at chart. We go ahead with Banda. Maybe I don't want to confuse you about it, but it's very important. So okay. I try to be, go with this, by the way. So you have to exercise will be held by Osama. We study about that is two types, this one vector is like called series, it's like two dimension or like we have like column and like row, it's like called data frame and we discussed last this was in the last two lecture. Okay. From your colleague about what to teach. There are it is everyone have one positive and negative effect. The question what is the best? It is like it, we can't tell what is the best. This is some strategy. We can we you depend about use case scenario. You depend about uh, the problem statement to, to check it. Maybe if you are a model, you can depend about model. Maybe if you want to check by yourself about this, we can use something like to select to reduce the less relevant picture. Maybe we can, this is some strategy. Even we can do the four, and then we can select and make some. This is how to study the data set, how to select the best one to solve this problem. So it's not it's not the question who is better. Everyone have the positive or negative. The question, what is related to our study? And probably a statement, okay? This is a more important. And even all of them useful. Maybe is model best selection or the recursion of the most used one? Okay. Then, okay. Let me go uh, uh, ahead. If there are, is, if is it clear uh, this uh, uh, answer, or we need more detail, we can go ahead with your discussion, or we can continue with some practice in Panda. So it's like we discussed like this time series. The data frame with column and the and if it's like fine, this we discuss about how to generate time series and uh, to import and explore the data in Python. We use like Panda bit and we have different number, different data format. If you is like that, whatever is like H five. There are a lot of possibility. I don't want to go ahead. Maybe some will go in detail. I will try to give you the basic. Maybe we can read the data from online. We can use without data. That means I did the data without only the data. For example, data we have like some header. I discussed. Maybe maybe I give you the next slide with the link about header. If you want to not to get the header file, the value. That means we we can. Something like this is the header. If you want to reduce it or to, or to avoid it, we can make it like with null value here. No. Okay. Other important if you display the header, if you if you use it directly without any value here, then he give a row as we see here. If you want to is the the first if you just data set. And this gives you only the first five. If you want to get the last five, we can use five. The same number, if you want to go increase or decrease, we give the value here for an end. If you want to replace the header, uh, default header, maybe I define, define some list, I want to uh, do something like I then I define the header as list. I, the same number according to header file. I have some, for example, I create this number. Then I do a, maybe I choose the pipe and maybe here I make the column according to our header. Then I get, if I print the pipe, I found this is changed. If you're looking about it before, it's like numbering value. Now I change it to we have five. Why I change? Maybe it's like who creates the data, give me descriptions, the first element, what's the meaning, the next element, what's the meaning, the third, and so on. 
So I have many, but when he created that, he doesn't give the meaning. Then I have one very processing. I have to give the name meaning. Then I do something like this. Okay. Also, if you want to save this file, maybe in Windows, we can use this backlash and Linux, we use something like this. I guess in Windows 10 is work. I don't sure. Maybe you can check by yourself. It's still working. If you use like C dot double point and this is is work i don't know but we can check it at least maybe then this is our ur bus and we save data to your bus different data format in bison we can read csv file we can read json file we can use like excel file we can read ht file sql file there are a lot if you want to go ahead google it and go to the Panda library, you can find a lot. Also, it's important for you to check data type. Do you know why? Can you figure out why it's important? Can you figure out why it's, uh, uh, we need to check data type? So, band data type, we have object, we have string, and this is different, diff ask some description about, maybe you have integer, we have float, data time. So, it's the question, why do we need it? We check data type because sometimes we have some mis uh, mismatching type. And sometimes you need to be compatible by Python because sometimes if you use some method or other library and you have to miss to understand which is, which is type and how to make a statement to change to other type. Maybe if you use it like number, but you store it as a string. From your human perspective, it's number, but for machine, maybe it's reading as string. Okay, so it's like some strategy. Okay, for example, this is in Banda. You can use the F, I'm sorry, this is, should be plotted. Maybe F data type to check. Maybe this is one example. Okay, now if you want to do some statistical de description, we can use like data frame and then drive describe and show you many statistics description about you but you have to if you want to get like all we can get like mean maximum or something like this about this we can get statistic or something if you if, if you let's do separation maybe if you have Pulling, I need to increase this by one because I figure out this data is missing. I need to add by one. This is, for example, I need to update all this data. Doing this is manually or something looping is not useful. So that means I can access this data column by this uh, the name of the field, and then I try to do something like. This. Okay, plus one, that means I affect everyone by one. Now let's uh, go ahead to discuss how to deal with missing data. And just some short uh, feedback, missing data is happening when you store the data or we can read it from sensor and sometimes represented by n slash n or none or zero or black cell. Maybe Christian right try to okay Christian, what is your question? Hello Shadi. 
Yes, I didn't get you. Can you? Uh, yeah, yesterday I met with one question about the when I tried to import the, the to import the data, where they yeah. have the where do I have to read CSV file also and the dot, dot the data extension. Mm -hmm. So when I try to use a CSV file it work well, then to have the extension extension of the data. And so, where I was oh, where, so, when, so, so my question is just sorry to interrupt you. Do you read this by Python or by open this with on uh, other like CSV? How to read it? You by coding and what uh, like uh, by, coding, the, by coding. Yeah, and what is by the name? Panda, by Panda. Yeah, then I can show my. Uh, okay, screen. we can discuss uh, later. Maybe maybe you can print my your screen. Maybe sometime it's like, did you install the package Panda? Yeah, sure. It is also, okay. It's not about it's not about uh, the problem of Panda installation. Yeah, I think. The... Uh, I think it's problem about reading the lead CSV files and reading dot data, where where we are applying lead fwf for dot data uh, extension. Oh, okay. So when so when we are trying to to look for the missing data, so you can't get the the same result. You can't get the result you want. Okay, we can discuss. Maybe you can print and uh, some slides and go with you. Maybe we can discuss yeah. and, and, and detail after this lecture uh, how to solve this your issue. Okay, it's good. Okay. This is thank a lot for this. So to dealing with missing data, for example, this missing data may be represented by a different symbol or zero or blank cells. It's like we something like this. We have different strategy to drop this, drop the fireable. All this fireable, maybe we can drop all this. Or to drop only data entry, only this line. Or this line. Or we can drop uh, uh, or replace this with similar value or most of frequency or replace it by another function, mean, maximum, minimum. Or if you don't want, we can leave it as it. What is not recommended? So let's go. The first is how to drop it. If you use this data and we want to drop it, we can use like drop an A and we have two parameters. And like if you take uh, access zero and this that mean, or then we have this is uh, this. Please consider what's the difference between. I recommend it to check it by yourself. What if I doing? And in any place or without any place, what is the difference? Please check it. Okay. So zero means I drop complete entry. Row, then I this is I delete it. Or if I use one, I draw all this. Okay. Then how to place the missing value? If to have a missing value, I want to do the new. I just I use a comma the function is replace then I replace missing value by mean then C calculate the mean for us this column and C replace it. This may be possibility, maybe for most frequency, this depends about what this function here we can define. We can replace uh, also then we do the mean, then we to replace this value by mean. For nor data normalization, maybe you, you can do something like this. Maybe you have the uh, we, we we discuss in detail in literature. Maybe there are three strategy: simple feature scaling, maybe min max, and what is discussed. Not, and then if you do in the score, maybe in min max we discuss in literature. Just a few of banda. Maybe we can. Uh, uh doing something best like we take the field we access this field links by the name of it then divide it by um, and then we get the max divide of max right this is a simple one then it's replace it if you want to do this is like mini max then we do that is we take like the field minus the links and then by mini and then it's like some operation directly 
this is how you get it if you do with this score is the simple way is like we do something the same it's like it's like doing some operation in data frame so in this standard diffusion okay then if you want other technique this is for uh, how to normalization other technique if you want to go ahead with data formatting maybe if you go in city maybe NY maybe New York sometimes it's like sometimes data entry changes not sometimes NY sometimes and and dot Y this is this is like maybe not uh, work for you sometimes you know, sometimes confusing maybe you need to handle it some strategy for data formatting maybe maybe you have to change it from this type to this type maybe maybe if you have also uh, some calculation maybe you have to change some uh, convert from mpg to kilometer then maybe you have to do some conf uh, converting also this is some data formatting you can doing also maybe sometime you have to change the format to assign this format maybe it's not good then we have to do some this by yourself what is how to correct the format this is using like data tree type and assign data type this is how it's like this is some challenge code i want to go ahead for you i just go ahead with simple example maybe Osama will go ahead with you and some practice in data frame but for you you have to handle it now this is just give you some examples how to pre processing and using Banda it's a simple technique my channel another, another challenge code if you want to website and we want to enter username and password is usually in general if you go you have to check if the if, if, when you go to register a new website maybe they ask you please enter your uh, a new password but at least we have to consider like one character between a and z at least we have one number at least one capital number at least one special number at least we have minimum number of transaction uh, character and minimum is maximum is this 12. the question if you you have to write the programs that accept the sequence comma separate by password and check if one of these pa uh, pass, uh, password according to your criteria is must this criteria the from one to six otherwise it's like print h1 by comma something like this if i have this string and then i say told me this only this is uh, uh, password and they told me only this is valid one okay in case of data should supply to question i assume to be in using in console that means you just input this data by console or we can fit a string as you want some hint i hope this is done and one example we need to check this and if it is if generates the same output for please send me your execution time based on this we can have some practice in programming okay before closing today so next week we'll go in zoom this is our our zoom meeting think okay please we can we can it's better for us to shift to zoom we i hope it's everything is like fix it now in case any problem, you can still use uh, our link to the Blue Bottle Primary University. Okay. Thank you for your attention. And for uh, if you have any question, feel free to answer. Uh, to ask, ask, sorry. I will go with uh, Jennifer about this question about uh, and uh, Christian. what is prefer for example because Jennifer question is very easy it's event what you prefer if you are reading format or in writing format or you are a band or not so Jennifer you can choose what you want not only depend about your data only depend about what your purpose we need okay now you let's now go muted. with uh christian problem okay i just switch the camera now 
Okay. Now, before I uh, go to Christian, or in the meantime, anyone have any problem, any question, any comment during this lecture, what we discussed today? So this week, we're mostly focused on data science, how to do the idea of data science was the main role. Then we discuss the pre-processing, then feature engineering uh, technique, and then try to practice something about this. Okay. In case there's no, uh, no any comment or any question, we can go jump to uh, some break. But in the meantime, we can I discuss with if you want to stay, we can go. I, I will go ahead with Christian with his problem. Okay, I give you the Christian. Uh, you are right to share your screen if you want. Just give me one second. So now, now you are presenting Christian. I no, sorry, I give to to side. Now you have you can share your screen and you go ahead. Yes, we can use one or several picture together. No problem. The main problem is like to select what is best for you. It's not matter if you use all of them. Maybe we can use and check if what is uh, what is best for you to generate the best uh, uh, model uh, accuracy. Can you see the screen? Now it's black. It's black, uh, Christian. Sorry. Can you go back? One time it's black. Can I check again? Okay. Now it's black. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Uh, this year I've imported the num p as np. Yes. For the as pd. Then I try to, I have the facet called bridge cancer dot data. Yes. Then uh, the time I was trying to read the how to, to read uh, the breast cancer with dot data, I found uh, it, it might be like this. So when I try to to get the missing data, so see you can see the uh, it's all it, uh, all the all yes the, yes it's the uh, missing features, data all the features. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what's the main problem? Yeah, go, uh, I kill you. When I doing some missing that maybe I send you my pre-processing uh, file. That means I doing my all my processing. Then I when I update that data file, I, I send you what is the new update. So I recommend it for you to download the file from uh, the basic data file because now your file is now with some empty data, the original one. If you do, if you do, if I maybe I by mistake and when I do not explaining the lecture, I update this file by uh, by running the code. That means I update the data set by mistake. Okay, my recommended not to use my file to download from internet again from a UCI data set. Okay, uh, okay, you get my idea. I, I even keep this as a uh, I, I, this is sometimes I maybe is by mist by I doing by mistake, but it's good because at least I figure out what, who is like fellow check my code and my data set. Because what I doing is like 
I I use this data set by myself. I run my code in this data set. Okay. Okay, then, great. Uh, and then I, I upload the, the file. By mistake, I don't upload the old file before I doing pre-processing. I upload the file with I doing pre-processing. Uh, pre that means this file didn't have any missing data because I, I repeat this by myself. This is one mistake maybe it's happened during pre-processing. Okay, but it's good from you to figure this. I appreciate a lot your uh, work and the uh, effort. This is like was my pleasure to be honest. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Because let me check my file. But I will do, I'll use this uh, trick later. This is done by my mistake. I will use later if I did the course again. But I deliver to students the file without missing data and let him check. Because I don't need to memorize the code, I need him to practice with the code. So what are you doing like this? Okay, if in so, my code, uh, I have one. I have. Okay, yeah. I have one. One another one. Hmm. When you go down there, like. Um, uh, There are also one button yeah. in my code. In code. You see? Yes. You yes. See here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, where they say the categorical futures and mass. So for here, I didn't understand this this line of code because uh, I was trying to figure out the how x dot d type equal equals object. So that mean, is that I mean, tried is this... use, but I yeah, tried it... to get that, but. I don't understand Leah really where it comes okay, from. Okay, I, I give you some uh, they, I try uh, to understand. Yeah, yeah. I, I if you want to understand, let me, we have to understand the line by the last line. So what is meaning x dot type is equal is equal to object. That means it's like check if that is like Boolean value. That means if it is object, that means it's true. If not object, it is false. That means it's generic zero on one. Okay? It's some trick in writing code, some oh, practice. Okay. okay. That means instead to write looping yeah, sure. uh, and, uh, and increase this loop and like for i to all this data set and write if x is like uh, then, then generic is zero on one. I do it like in one line. This is some practice we have to learn when you will. Okay? This is that is. That means if, yeah. if the feature is equal to type of object that you generate, uh, like uh, for example, true or false, that means it's one of zero. Okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, let me go to also to uh, future scaring and minimum scale. Yes. We are when using I, like I, I try to to, yeah, to to get the yeah to 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 get the x train. They give me uh, the error saying that they couldn't find the string to float because this file is not compile string to float because this is file. Uh, Maybe it's a yeah, it is error in this uh, file. Because the file is not, uh, it's like, and you have to remove it. I'll check how I to remove it. Yes. This is one file is not able to okay, compile great. the variable. Okay, great. This is how to figure out how to handle that. This yeah. is reality what is data. This is what I ask you to choose this data set. Because in reality, we have to sometimes to handle data like this. And you not only to import the package and library and to grow it code by yourself. This is reality, how it's working. Okay? Another question? Okay. There are also one problem. In, no, uh, it's uh, it's uh, or I, I met yesterday. Right, uh, yes. Yeah, and also we have to understand how to make computation or content to data frame together. Maybe it's like more useful. Maybe because I make some mistake, and even till now I don't figure out how to solve it correctly. But I make like because I use old version of library. By the way, because in Mac I don't have a recent version of like SQL. 
So this is work with me, but your new uh, code is not working. So I ask you all to do this challenge code. But this is good practice, uh, Christian. I will go for it. Yeah. 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 This yeah, is uh, uh, this is now we are figure out how to solve your problem. Now, if you in real life and you are project company and project fixes something like this, you are good uh, ahead. And now we can figure out what is the main problem, what this line is doing wrong or what is doing. Okay. Thank you a lot for you all. And now uh, we have now about uh, when you prefer to start. Maybe we can ask Osama. Osama, I give you the presenter. And uh, where do you prefer Osama to start your lecture? Uh, Osama, you can start. Uh, Osama, you can start. Yes, sir. Should we start it now? Or maybe after some. We can ask maybe if they need some break or not. It depends about them. Well, then, uh, guys, can you? Suggest if you, you need a break or we can continue. Because uh, from my side is fine because I am now ready to take my cup of uh, uh, coffee. <laughs> yes. I was prepared. I, I, I like coffee too much, so I yes. I think I need to be fifteen minute break this yes. time. Not that. Okay. So so yes. what is time prefer to join you later at the. Uh, then maybe, maybe 10 40. 10 40. Yes, our break is 10 40. Okay, yeah, yeah. By the, way, by the way, can you add okay. uh, to conference? Uh, um, our uh, colleague is like Shen Tzu. I maybe he can write you email, his right email for you. We can add to conference, he can able to download the file. Okay, Shen Tzu, can you write him email? Uh, email? Okay. Okay, let me. Maybe in chat he can write. Uh, he can let me share mine. And yeah. then. Okay. Then. Uh, I'm, I'm going to share mine here. Then. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Maybe I I, I tell him. Uh, I'll talk to Kerry and do that. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay, the the email for uh, Mr. Faustine. Uh, Maybe you can write here email to. Maybe please write here email, and uh, with your email to add you to conference, you can able to download the lecture and the all.